Henderson. The past five months have been tough for the family and friends of Terrell Henderson, who died by suicide in February. In the midst of their grief, a recent act of vandalism at his gravesite has left them with more questions than answers. We spoke with a family today who says they'd like to see more done to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen again. I think anytime uh, a young life is lost, especially under those uh, circumstances, it leaves a very raw wound for family, friends, and the community. Jessica Mann says she's still grief-stricken after losing Terrell, a young man she knew since he was born. I, I actually watched him grow up as a little boy and a baby, and everybody's hurt over it. He was a really good guy. He was really nice. His untimely passing hit his mother especially hard. Her life's not been the same. She's really uh, tore up over this thing. Terrell's mother is not yet able to secure funding for a headstone. This spot at the Mount Auburn Cemetery marks where he's buried, filled with things representing his life. She had lights around it, a basketball in the middle, all kinds of decorations. Decorations that have recently been ransacked, according to the family. The little bears were over here, the ball was over there, the whatnots that was put down, I don't even know where they're at. <laughs> they're everywhere. They say they can't understand why someone would do this and feel more should be done to protect the graves at the cemetery. They also feel the vandalism is part of a bigger problems surrounding the general care of the cemetery in recent years. This cemetery was beautiful. It had pristine trees and great care. Fast forward 20, 25 years later, the roads are washing out. There's some horrible ruts over there. Somebody's coming through and only mowing the grass and doing the bare minimum. Mount Auburn is owned by an out-of-state company. The Meyerhofer Funeral Home has stepped in to provide upkeep twice a year. They recommend people never leave items of sentimental value out in the open at grave sites. But still, many families of people buried here say this is a growing issue. They voice their concerns on social media. You know, there was a a lot of angry people and a lot of people saying, yes, we're having that same problem. Terrell's family and friends say they just hope something can be done to keep their loved one's resting place undisturbed. Anyone that's lost a loved one recently just knows how important that the sacred space is. Terrell's family said they've set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for the cost of a permanent headstone.